the destruction of some Amalekites. Ammon, right? The wicked Macedonian that came up against us during the time of the Persians, and we celebrate Purim. So we always celebrate the destruction of the so-called white Jew Amalek. Right? Come on. And utterly destroy all that they had. What did the Lord say? And utterly destroy all that they had. And he said, utterly destroy everything Amalek have. Come on. And spare them not. And do what? And spare them not. See that this Bible is vicious, man. Oh, oh. The most I don't play. You think we got an all loving, friendly God? No, the Lord is a man of war, pursuant to Exodus 15 and 3. Right, like, come on. That they, all that they have and spare them not, but slay both men and woman. The Lord says, slay both men and woman, God. Infant and suckling. What did the Lord say? Infant and suckling. The Lord said, infant and suckling. Infant means a child, suckling means young child. Like our brother Khalid Muhammad said, right. you kill the men. You kill the women, you kill the children, you kill the babies, God damn it, kill them all. <laughs> and the reason why he said that, they had to kill that man, Khalid. Right, man. He was that little... man was buck wild. <laughs> <laughs> that man was buck wild, man. They had to kill that man, Khalid. Right, right. Oh, that man was buck wild, huh? Oh, that man, I was watching uh, the debate with him and Anthony right. J. Hilda um, um, kill the white man. Mm -hmm. He said, God damn it, kill them all. Right. right? But he made, but Khalid, Khalid made a heavy point. Khalid was a, 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 a genius man. Right, right. The man was very smart. The man said, what? Common sense. You kill the babies because the baby's going to grow up to enslave your babies. Right. Right? It, either, it's, only, it's only two things with the enemy. When you look at the enemy, it's one or two things. You either kill them or you enslave them. That's it. That's what you do with the enemy, and that's what Esau is doing with us, right? We living in this society. He got us in captivity. But when you look at it, when you really look at it, our position in this society, we either dying or Esau got us under control. You niggas stay in it. It's a walking straight line, or you're dead. That's how you control your enemy, man. Right? Come on. And Saul gathered the people together. Let me continue. Oh, uh, that's it on that. So he said, "You kill all young, old, suckling, all of them." Like our brother Khalid said, man. He was giving them no wiggle room to let him live. Right, man. no wiggle room at all. <laughs> the man said, you kill the men, you kill the women. Then the man said, you kill the cripple, right. the blind. You kill the man <laughs> said, kill them. God damn it, kill them all. <laughs> right? But, you know, Khalid, he made sense when he said that. Right. That's the only way to deal with your enemy. You either kill them or you enslave them. Right. right? You, you, and, you, and when you enslave them, you control their ass so they don't rise up. Right. But see, that's what's going on, man. I just want to land me back on what the elder was bringing out about the enemy, man. Because we always have war with Amalek. He's always been our enemy. That's why we rejoice at their downfall. Them two uh, rat gutter Jew boy bastards that died in that plane crash last month over uh, 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 upstate New York. Most I killed them two Jew boys. Mm -hmm. They probably was going somewhere to transport organs. Mm -hmm. Right? Two Jew boys flying on a plane by themselves, on a private, on a private plane by themselves. What were they up to? They probably was up to no goddamn good. Right, right. Right, probably was going to transport some damn body parts and the Lord killed them. Right. So yes, we rejoice at the fall of our enemy. Right, right. right. And you got a problem with that, too bad. Take it up with the God of Israel. Right, right. take it up with the Lord of Israel. Anybody, right now, you don't want to get in the Lord's way right now. Mm -hmm. All this prophecy that's happening on the earth, you do not want to get in the Most High's way. Mm -hmm. Give me Isaiah 29 and 6. We see what's happening in Syria, Turkey, with these earthquakes, man. Right? We see what the Lord is doing all over this earth. I mean, they, they, don't, they can't even keep track of the damn death toll. I mean, I just updated in the um, news chat, in the, uh, the HOR um, chat. Man put 7,000, then 12,000, then 16,000. Right? Because the Lord is killing, man. That second Ezra is the beginning of, grammar, uh, of famine and great death. Right? Isaiah 29, 16. Read that, James. Isaiah 29, 6. Pick it up. Shout. 29, 29, 6. Come on. And you give me a second Ezra 16 and 12. Come on. Read. 29 to 6. Good. 
Rakha. Thou shalt be visited. The Lord said, Thou shalt be visited. Come on. Of the Lord of hosts. Of the Lord of hosts. Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Come on. With thunder. With what? With, with thunder, thunder. Thunder. Come on. And with earthquake. And with earthquake. Come on. And great noise. And what? And, and great, great noise. And great noise. Come on. With storm and tempest. With storm and tempest. Come on. And the flame of devouring fire. And what? And, and the, the flame, flame of devouring fire. One more time. Isaiah 29 and 6. Read. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts. The earth is being visited of the Lord of hosts. Come on. With thunder. With thunder. Come on. And with earthquake. And with earthquake. Come on. And great noise. And what? And the great noise. noise. Come on. With storm and tempest. We know storm and tempest. The holiday season got jacked up by the most high. Mm -hmm. California got jacked up with the rainstorms by the most high. Come on. And the flame of devouring fire. What's the ultimate destruction? And the flame, flame of, of devouring, devouring fire. fire. See that? And Priest Terah was going into the Third World's War with Russia and China, and America, North Korea, and you ain't gonna be able to stop a damn thing, man. Uh, this thing is brewing up, right? Spy balloons flying over the damn country, gotta shoot uh, down spy balloons. Uh, That's the most I'm doing that, man. Even though there's something, um, uh, Brother Shemaya brought out a good point, there's something deeper with them damn spy balloons. Cause you can spy through any other, you can spy through many other methods. What the hell is this giant? They said the damn thing was the size of 15 football fields. Right, right. Who makes a balloon that damn big to right. spy? China is bugged out, man. <laughs> but see, China, China don't play, man. I give it to them damn Mu Gai Kai pants, man. Them bastards don't play. They, man. they little in body, but they think big. Yeah, they think big. <laughs> they little in body. Like, look at the movie. Even though it was a movie, I love that scene in that movie. When you go, uh, that movie 2012. Right. And remember, they were building an ox. The ox was yeah. giant as hell. Yeah, yeah. And Moab got that kind of technology, right. man. Them, them ox was huge, man, that they was building. Mm -hmm. And notice they called them ox. Yeah. You know, I always like to bring that out. They called them ox, like mm -hmm. Noah. Mm -hmm. Like during the time of the Noah. Mm -hmm. And and those arcs, they went on land and they were able to fly. Mm -hmm. Right? So you know what I'm saying? Just like now, Esau, Moab, the nations, they think they're going to build some kind of technology to escape the wrath of the Lord, but you can't escape this time. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to be able to build something like an ark like Noah did that sat on the land and Noah was protected. Right now, you build that on the most high coming to burn everything up. And if you think you're going to fly up into the heavens, you're going to meet your Howard trying to eat. Right. right. So ain't no way you can go, boy. Right. Right? Ain't no way you can go. This ain't the movie 2012. But just showed you about East, uh, uh, Moab's technology. Right. Giant damn it, size of 15 football fields. Mm -hmm. Who builds a damn spy balloon that big? What the hell is Moab really up to? <laughs> or what is the U.S. not really telling us? You know, the, you know how big the size of 15 football fields is? That is huge, man. And the suspected thing about that It's like a mini moon. That's like a mini moon, yeah. <laughs> they allowed the spy balloon to fly all over America. Yeah. And then they didn't shoot it down until it was out of South Carolina over yeah. the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Why did you allow this? The F-16s supposed to be dispatched up into the air within two to three minutes. Once they see unidentified aircraft, the F-16s supposed to be uh, dispatched. The, uh, the uh, Air Force, they dispatched them right away. Uh, uh, unidentified uh, 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 object in the air, uh, identify yourself or be shot down. Oh. Identify yourself immediately, you're in restricted airspace, be shot down. It was a whole suspect thing about that, man. Mm -hmm. But the most I said in the last days, he was going to do what? I was going to show great signs and strange wonders. Stuff that we're going to be like, God damn. But the Lord said, don't marvel at it, because that's my power about to destroy the earth. Read it right. one more time, King. Oh. Isaiah 29 and verse 6. Good. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts. So the earth is being visited, man, with nothing but prophecy and destruction. Good. Mm -hmm. With thunder. With what? With, with thunder. thunder. Thunder, come on. And with earthquake. And with earthquake, come on. And great noise. And what? And, and great, great noise. noise. Go ahead. With storm and tempest. Come on. And the flame of devouring fire. That flame of devouring nuclear fire is coming, man. Oh. Read what you got at 2nd and the 16 and 12. The book of Second Edges, chapter 16, verse 12. Bring it out. The earth quaking. What did I say? The, the earth quaking. What happened in Syria? The, the earth quaking. What happened in Turkey? The, the earth quaking. What happened in damn Buffalo the other day? They had an earthquake in Buffalo. Go ahead. The earth quaking. What's always happening in Cali? Yeah, yeah. Two weeks ago, oh. I was sitting down studying in Cali, and it started I was rocking. Like, oh, oh. Started rocking. Remember the uh, 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 Sam and the Sun? <laughs> Is this the big one? The big and one. I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't, um, I couldn't sleep. So I said, let me get up and do a little bit of study. Okay. Maybe that's the spirit. Like, hey, get up and do some study. I couldn't sleep, man. You know, my children sleep, whatever. But I couldn't sleep. I'm like, damn, all right. I'm gonna get up and read for about an hour. Go over some precepts and some history. And I'm sitting. I'm literally sitting there in the crib, 
and the damn table just. Wow. But it, but I, I really didn't get scared. It felt more so like a wave. It was like you know, like you go in the water and the waves. It felt like a wave. It wasn't one of them real rocky. What's up, Bob? Shout out. All right. It, it wasn't like one of them real hardcore rocky earthquakes. It was more like a. Like a wave, but I was like, God damn it. Is this the big one? Because you, know you know, Cali is due for a 10.0, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cali is due for a 10.0. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then all the Israelites and Hebrews that live out there that keep the laws, we got to just put our trust in the most high. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's due that, you know, they, they always bring it out how Cali is due for a major one. Yeah. But that's the Lord visiting the earth with different uh, quakes and different I things. We did get 2nd of the 16 to 12. The earthquake, what Lord say? The earthquake, the earthquake, come on. And the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with the waves. Right, and Lord said, the earthquake and the foundations thereof. And then the sea ariseth with the waves thereof. That's a tsunami. Mm -hmm. All right, that's like a, a, when an earthquake comes up under the water. Like they had over in, in Southeast Asia uh, back in 2006, I believe it was. And that killed, like, uh, that damn thing killed millions of people. Cause. Even a guy, they 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 silenced the, the ambassador from the UN at the time because they tried to say the death toll was 350,000. And the man said, I don't know where they get these numbers from. Where did they get these numbers too low, man? There's millions of people dead. He said, I come off the plane and there's bodies everywhere. Where did they get this 350,000? And they told that man, yo, shut the hell up. Man. Because that, you know, it was a conspiracy right. that that earthquake in Southeast Asia, that was an underwater nuclear test right. by United States, Israel, and India. Wow. That's what they claimed was a conspiracy. That's what some of the conspiracy theorists were bringing out. That was actually an underwater test because, listen, people said they felt it in Central Park. Wow. They said they felt the damn yeah, earthquake yeah, yeah, in Central Park. Yeah. 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 That was that um that Southeast Asian earthquake in uh, two, 2006, I believe it was. Wow. All right. Then it was the earthquake in Iran. It was some major earthquakes, man. So the Lord said the earthquake of then what was the major tsunami at? That was Japan. It was Japan. Was yeah. it Japan? It was Japan, yeah, right? Yeah. It was another major tsunami. I think that was 2013 mm -hmm. or 2011, one of them years. So the most I've been rocking and rolling. Uh, right? The most I've been rocking and rolling. So the Lord said what one more time, King? The earthquake. The Lord said the earthquake of come on. And the foundations thereof. Go ahead. The sea arises. The sea arises. That's your tsunami. Right? Come on. Up with the waves from the deep. The Lord said the sea wide rise up with the waves from the deep. And that's how it's going to happen when the nuclear destruction happens also. Mm. When the nuclear bomb says it's going to quake the earth and it's going to quake the sea. Right? Come on. And the waves of it are troubled. The Lord said the waves are troubled. You see the waves coming up like in Japan? That damn tsunami, man, coming yeah. up on the people just drowning them. Mm -hmm. Right? Come on. And the fishes thereof. And the what? And the fishes thereof. Yeah, all the wildlife, all the uh, 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 sea life comes out. That all comes up. Come on. Also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. The Lord said that's all the glory of his power. Mm. By Shema Mashiach. So all that quaking and destruction, what's happening? And they ain't finished finding bodies in Syria and Turkey. Right. That damn thing skyrocketing every minute. That thing skyrocketing every minute. Uh. But see, the most I'll show you his power too. The, uh, one of the, I think one of the Syrian ladies, she had a baby under the rubble and a damn wow. baby lived and the rest of the family died. Yeah. Uh. She had a newborn baby under the rubble. And the Lord said, all right, now little, little Syrian, I got something for her, you her in name the future. Be <laughs> her name will be Pebbles. Right, her name will be Pebbles. Because right? I, 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 I got something for you in the car. Right? Right. But yeah, the baby, they said the whole yeah. family died. The mother that had the baby died, yeah. but the baby lived. All right, the Esau, they always got to have a miracle story out of anything. <laughs> Right, we always, we always overcome, right? So read, um, give me uh, Matthew 24 and 7. Come on. So these earthquakes are prophecy, man. We've been bringing out for years. Right. All right, I've been bringing out for, for years. But if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna take heed, then that's on you. Right, give me um, Isaiah 24 and 20, I believe it is. And read what you got, King. Come on. Matthew 24 and 7. Go ahead. For a nation shall rise against nation. The Lord said nation will rise against nation. Right, the elder was bringing it up. Russia, Ukraine, America, North Korea, Israel. All right, the European Union. Remember in Revelation 17, it said, these shall hate the whore. That's talking about the European Union. Everybody gonna rise up against America. Right, come on. 
and kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom. Go ahead. And there shall be famines. There's going to be what? There, there should be, be famines. There's going to be famines. Go ahead. And pestilences. And pestilences. Go ahead. And earthquakes. And what? And, and earthquakes. Earthquakes. Come on. And diverse places. The Lord said there's going to be earthquakes and diverse places. Oh. All right, and read that one more time. There shall oh. be what? Matthew 24 and 7. Go ahead. For nation shall rise against nation. Go ahead. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. There shall be famines, man. How does a lot of the food and stuff get brought into the trucks? And they brought out a lot of the trucking industry is suffering now because of the fuel. Right. See, everything is a domino effect, right? So if Jake, like, yo, I can't afford the fuel. I can't deliver this food. Y'all people ain't going to eat, man. <laughs> and with the most side really starting to shut this economy down, that's what's going to happen, man. Right, come on. And pestilence And what? And, and pestilence. You already saw people with the Bank of America, and their damn money was gone. Cool. But the other guy in these in these damn schemes, what's that other guy? The Lord, I mean, um, um the guy went from twelve million to twelve thousand. Right, a man had twelve million dollars and went. He, it was some one of them Ponzi schemes or something. Okay. Man went back and had twelve thousand dollars. Huh? Yeah, the track star, the runner. Yeah. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. Yeah, the man went from twelve million to twelve thousand. <laughs> the guy from uh, Ellen Ellen DeGeneres. They claim he lost his money in that other Amalek um Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Right, that that uh uh, uh so-called uh, what do they call it um uh Bitcoin and all that. What yeah. do you call that now? Uh, uh, they got a name Bicycle. for it. Bicycle. No, they got a name. Cryptocurrency. For that. Yeah, crypto. And yeah, the whole yeah. Crypto thing, man. Right, right, right. Yeah. The whole crypto phenomenon. That little Jew boy walked away with everybody's money. Yeah. Right, talking about uh you know the money's unaccounted for. Yeah, Sam right. Bankman. You got that, huh? Sam Bankman. Yeah, Sam Bankman, man. Mm -hmm. Right, the most I give them names like Bateman. Yeah, right? cause. Cause he made, like uh, Madoff. He made off. He made off with the money. money. Yeah. Right. And Bateman, cause right. the bank man got your money in the bank. Right. 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 He got that damn thing in the Swiss. The council, most I be marketing man. with these Swiss names. Swiss be marketing them. Yeah, right. Cause. And your money's gone. Read. <laughs> Matthew 24 and 7. Good. For nation shall rise against nation Good. and kingdom against kingdom. Come on. And there shall be famines. Yeah, most I, can, most I can cut off that food overnight. Remember when um, Hurricane Alexander, what, is, what was it? Hurricane Sandy. Yeah, yeah. Remember Hurricane Sandy happened? Mm -hmm. And the city got shut down. Remember the, the other hurricane they said was coming and wasn't that bad. Man, the stores cleared out of food in two days. Yeah. And they said no trucks could come into the city because they didn't want the trucks to get trapped in the city during the hurricane. The damn, you went to the corner store, there was no damn Wonder Bread on the shelf. Even though that ain't the healthiest damn bread you get anyway. <laughs> but you know, there was nothing on the, on the corner store. I was like, damn, everything was sold out overnight. Most I can cut off the food supply overnight. Because they said they can't let the trucks into the city because the trucks will get, they might get trapped in a hurricane. Because they thought it was going to be floods, everything was going to be chaos. So they couldn't bring no more food. So the food that was already in stock is sold out. Because everybody panicked. You know, everybody listened to the white man. They panicked when they saw the news. Everybody went, got two, three, four hundred dollars worth of food. Even the corner stores were selling out. So the most I can cause famines overnight.